Hello everybody, um, my name is Linda and this is my channel Linda T70 and thank you very much for stopping on my video today. Um, today's video is going to be a bit of a makeup based one with perhaps a couple of other things in. I'm, I've got some shopping to do later so if I buy something I'll show you. Um, thank you before we get started for anyone who's commented and subscribing it's i really do appreciate you taking the time and i do try and reply to everybody individually well wouldn't be mass a, a, a reply would it um i hope there's no one i've missed um, i do try and check regularly because if you're prepared to take the time to watch my videos and to make a comment the least i can do is reply so thank you so much for that um and for um people who have subscribed Masses uh, of thank yous to you. Um, if anyone else wants to subscribe, please do so. Um, and um, I think you press a notification button so you can see the next of my fabulous videos when, they, when they're when they hot off the press. Um, anyway, so as I say, today is going to start off with some makeup. Um, I did try to do all this, to, you know, get ready with me thing because um, everybody else seems to be able to do that. But I've got such a small area to work with here and no real idea what I'm doing. So what I decided to do was to, um, I've, I've, I've done my makeup, just in case you weren't sure. Um, and I'll show you what I use because I've bought some new things. And the first thing to mention is, um, <clears throat> I don't know if anyone's interested, but if I, I dye my hair. Shock horror. Um, and I just, I was going to again film that and I thought I don't really want to sit here with um, dye on my head talking to you. <laughs> I mean, we've got to, we've got to have some limits, haven't we? So um, I just thought I'd show you what I buy and, um, you know, if you're interested, if not, you can fast forward this bit. Um, the I used to dye my hair a lighter colour than this. Um, I usually do it about every six to eight weeks. I don't really notice the roots coming through that much because they're not white but they are grey um, so I think they're more salt and pepper but um, and I have thought about growing the dye out and just having my natural colour but on balance I don't know how many years that would take me to do so um, and in the meantime I'd be looking at myself with funny half coloured hair and um, I just don't think I'd really want to do that so Basically, the, the, the current box dye that I buy is this one, which is um, obviously a clear on nice and easy. It's the shade of this particular one is 8A, which is medium ash blonde. I used to dye my hair a lot lighter. It was more of a baby blonde, but then I thought it just looks like I've got white hair, which there's nothing wrong with white hair and if it were natural. I would keep it like that. I've got a couple of friends who've got white hair naturally and I think it looks absolutely great. Um, but mine isn't really like that. So um, I've toned it down a bit and I use this colour. Now, I put it on this morning. I don't know how well you can see. Um, I just bung the whole box on. I don't do the roots and then leave it for so long and then do the, 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 the sort of long, the length. I just put it all on because my hair is quite short and short at the back I you know I just do the whole thing at one time you leave it on for 25 minutes um, and then you rinse it off um, if there's any more explanation around that I'm happy to tell you but obviously you have to if you've not tried box colours before you do, need to do a skin test first just to make sure you're not um, haven't got any allergies um, but I think they're really good these days. I've used loads of different brands. They're permanent colours and this is, um, I, now I put this on, it's the darkest it will be um, it, and it will get lighter with going out in the air, you know, sunshine um, and just washing it. So I, I like this colour. I'm going to stick with this for a while until I get fed up and then I'll do another colour but and it leaves your hair in quite nice condition you get condition conditioner with the box you get full instructions takes half an hour you know if you want to have a go with that you have a go with one of the brands um, I, I would say I would recommend it um, so that's that done now the other thing I did was I ordered some makeup from good big shiny nose here and um, by the way I, it's 
it's a Saturday, it's Saturday the 9th of December just um, so we're all getting geared up for Christmas we're going to a pantomime this afternoon um, there's us and our children and their children a group of us going um, so and it's pouring with rain it's still it's 20 to 20 to 11 in the morning it's quite dark it's raining uh, so I'm sitting near to my window so that I get some light in and again apologize for the glare on my specs so the items I bought from Avon did I say it was Avon I thought I'd try Avon because a couple of people have said to me you know to, that they do good foundations they and I've heard this I've just never really bothered to buy anything from them because it used to be somebody coming round you to, to your house with a catalogue didn't it in the old days but now you can do it all online so um I did a few weeks ago mention that I'd bought some new foundation because I have a lot of trouble with that and I don't think I'm the only one judging by some of my comments um and I've tried this one the Avon protect and perfect intense advanced all-in-one foundation I mean they get this massive title for something and put it on the smallest container don't they so no wonder us people that can't see properly have trouble with it uh, trouble using it um, this has an SPF of 50 50 plus it says um, I have tried this and I'm very pleased with it it doesn't seem to have the it, it still sinks into your wrinkles a bit but it's not as bad as those other ones I've tried but I try. I ordered two different from Avon to give those a go. So the one one I tried here is an Avon Nutra Effects Radiance Tinted Moisturising Day Cream, which has got an SPF of twenty. Um, I tried this the other day. Went on nicely. Um, gives a bit of a dewy effect to your skin. Didn't seem to emphasize my wrinkles too much um, so I would I, I, I will get all the prices I'll put them down in the, the, the box thing down at the bottom and um, so you know but nothing here was as expensive as I've been paying so um, yeah so that's that one so that, I've tried that one and that's good but the one I put on today was the Avon Serum Foundation now I thought got the right way up I thought well serum foundation two products if you can get it in one why not so I've got this on today this is radiant finish and it's got an SPF of 30 and um, I'll try and show you I don't actually know what the color is but it's a it I think it's okay I was a bit when I first put it on my skin I thought oh, is it a bit sort of orangey that's obviously too much on there but you get the idea um, but I think it looks all right now I've got it rubbed in I won't know till I watch this back and see how it comes out on the on the on the video um, I'm doing this on my phone today and I know this this sort of portrait thing a lot of people don't like but I couldn't figure out a way when you wear glasses as well and you're trying to zoom you know look at things closely and I've got two magnified mirrors here to put anything on in the first place it's quite tricky so hopefully you'll bear with me so um, I think the coverage was wasn't too bad I've got some sun damage on my cheeks so I, I put um, I, I, I should have told you actually the first thing I did sorry I missed this out I bought their um, cream so I started with this so this is a day cream Hello. Um, and this one is a night cream it, it was in a two pack and um, it was 18 pounds for the two now I, I've never really been anybody that looks after their skin very much I mean I if in the day I put moisturize on, on it but that's kind of it really I've never put night creams and things on I've tried to but I forget I just go to sleep and I forget but I've been using this for the past two or three nights and one thing I will say about it I don't know if I'm it's called a new revitalist night revitalizing cream now I don't know whether any of that's actually started to happen on my skin yet I don't know if it's revitalizing um, but it's nice and it's sometimes these creams are thick and it's not 
Um, I have had a couple of spots in the morning because I've cleansed my face before I've put it on, which I presume that's what you do. Um, but there have been a couple of little tiny spots, but, you know, perhaps my skin's getting acclimatised to it. I don't know. And this one I put on, it's the first time I've used this actually. This one I used this morning and I put it on and I let it soak in before I applied the serum foundation. So hopefully the foundation's okay and until I get somebody else's opinion, I don't really know. Um, and I have a, um, I have one of these things to cover up my the sun damage. This is nothing to do with Avon, it's just one I bought. Um, and I let that dry it. I mean, yeah, I think you can still see it, but I mean, you know, we don't expect miracles, do we? Um, the next thing I did was I wanted to put, I, I bought some, this eyeshadow stick. It's a Power so Avon Power Stay uh, shadow stick. It's supposed to last up to 16 hours. Um, it's supposed to be no, it doesn't crease and it's supposed to um, be water resistant, I think it said. I'm not 100% on that, but I think that's what it said. With a little windy uppy thing here. And this bit, end bit is, I don't know how quite how you use it, but there's a little sharpener. Can you see that sharpener on the end? Um, and I bought this in a berry colour because the, um, the, the colours they had in stock. I thought well I'll give this one a go um, you can use it as an eyeliner as well which is actually what I've done today rather than smear it all over and try and get it off because it's quite a dark colour so I'll show you that in a sec when I take my glasses off um, then I bought um, oh I forgot to show you this this is another take on the foundation situation so this is the Avon True Flawless, Flawless Ultra Matte cream to powder foundation and um, I buy this sort of thing I've got a L'Oreal um, powder in a little container like this in a, like a compact which isn't cream it's just a powder which I use sometimes out for quickness um, this one I've gone for the beige colour again this one as you can see I've run my finger across it it's a, um, a cream one so I haven't tried that but i give that a go uh, so I've, here I've got one including my boots one that I bought the other week one two I've got four new sort of foundation things haven't I so one of them should hopefully work um, then what did I put on after that so I put some if I take off my I'll pin my fringe to the side now you're all blurry now so I can't really see what I'm doing but if I print pick pin my fringe up I tried to do my eyebrows I've already got some stuff for that it's a boot 17 and I use the lighter one um, I'm not very confident about eyebrows and because I've got a fringe um, I don't think people look at my eyebrows much but I thought oh well in the uh, interests of uh, YouTube I'll do some eyebrow stuff today so I've put some powder on I don't know if I look like a clown or what really but there we are um, and then I have put to to match my eye pencil the berry flavor berry color eye pencil I have used this is this is a revolution palette um, eyeshadow palette and I don't know what it's called but I've used this berry color I've, I noticed actually when I got out it kind of matches my shirt that I've got on today um, so I've used this color across my lid with a little bit of gold oh, it's Christmas nearly isn't it a little bit of cold gold on the inside then I used the um, berry stick on my um, eyelash line and a little bit underneath here under my eye now I know you're not supposed to, they say when you get older you shouldn't put um, makeup under your eyes but especially when you wear glasses it's very easy not to be able to see people to see your eyes so I think you need a bit personally I don't know if, this, if I'm just making this up but with me I think you need a little bit of oomph really to um, 
so people can see your eyes rather than just your glasses. Um, and um, I also, that's a bit of a bugbear with a lot of these, um, uh, what do you call them, mascaras. Um, I found that because they're lengthening and they've got lots of fibres in, if your eyelashes touch the lens of your glasses, which is, you know, probably happens most of the time, doesn't it? you don't think about it, you can't really feel it, but it must they must be, and they get knocked, and then you get little bits of fibres that come off. So I don't know whether this one, I bought this new, it's called Lash Genius, again from Avon. I think this was about £10, which is, you know, I, it's mid-range, isn't it, really, for a, a mascara. Um, it's black. I was not I was unsure of the brush actually to start with because I don't know if you can kind of see but um well you can't see that can you because I'm in the wrong place there we go it's got a sort of a chimney sweep bit at the top it's really strange and it looks like it's meant to be like that I can't see if this is in focus or not because everything <laughs> everything over there isn't in focus for me at the moment because I haven't got them my specs on but um I think it's quite nice. I don't know. I don't know if you can see anything here. Uh, again, I'll look back on this, and uh, I might just delete it all and give up. But um, I put <laughs> I put some, uh, some on the top and a, and a little bit on the bottom. Um, it's not the best brush I've used. I not, uh, but and maybe I've just got to get used to it. Um, then I put. I'm going to have to put my glasses on. Sorry. Um, then I've used my blush, my powder blush that I bought the a few weeks ago when I bought the foundation, my Rosy Glow, um, just a little bit here. I know people put it under their, I don't know, I don't know about that. Um, I used then, what did I use? I bought an emergency lip liner because I was in the supermarket yesterday and I realised that I didn't have a a pink one to go with my new lipstick that I've bought from Avon. So this is a, oh, this is just a Rimmel. Um, I don't really, I'm, I, I do use a lip liner, but I don't like you to be able to see it. Um, so I used that and then I bought, this is the Avon lipstick I bought and it is called, it's Blush Nude the colour and that's all it says about it really it doesn't say much more so it's this colour so that's what I put onto my my mouth um, in my bedroom in the natural daylight I, I look all I think the colours look all right I'm when I'm looking at my phone I think I look a bit pink but I am quite hot and um but the 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 eyeshadow and the lipstick don't look too too pinky so I think they look all right but you know um any tips hints or comments please let me know it's you know I'm a as I keep saying I'm quite old now I'm 70 I've got wrinkles um what can you do? You know, you're going to get wrinkles. Even these women that have facelifts, they have to have them redone, don't they? I mean, if you kind of do that, that would be all right, wouldn't we? But um, I do have lines around my mouth. I've never smoked or anything. It's just nature gave them to me. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know what you think. Um, I, I do think the Avon products are good. As I say, I will um, get my daughter who does all this stuff for me. Uh, to get the to list the products if you're interested but do go on their website because you know they have lots of stuff they send you when you get um your delivery i don't know what i've done with it now but they send you one of their little booklets um but quite honestly it's just i think it's easy to to, to look on the website really and then you can sort of dip down into what you're actually looking for um oh I'll take this back um yeah so Oh, my hair's driving me mad. I've got, I've got to get it cut soon, but I'm going to have to cut it myself, aren't I, this bit? It's just uh, gets in your eyes. I'll blow dry it in a minute so I can see where I'm going. But you can't, I don't think you can really see the my eyebrows too much. 
I don't know, let, let me know what your view on eyebrows is, whether you should bother with them or not. Um, I've never really had to pluck my eyebrows, that is one one thing that's um, I've always been quite thrilled about. But then as I've got older, they kind of go a little bit erratic, and then you get that one, don't you, that sort of sticks out like an antenna, and, uh, and don't start me on facial hair, I mean, ye gods. Every week you have to sort of, we, I, th I don't know, I know a lot of women my age do the same thing. You know, you get the old magnified glass out, the magnified uh, mirror, and then you get the tweezers, and then you get the cream, and honestly, it's just hard work, isn't it? It's just hard work. Um, okay, I think that's it on the makeup and the hair dye front. If you've got any comments on that, please let me know. I think I'm going to carry this video on. Um, I got my uh, trousers that I bought a bigger size of. Do you remember in one of the hauls I couldn't get the leather look trousers on because I'm too fat? And um, so, and I thought I'm not going to go, I'm not going to buy a bigger pair, I'm not going to buy a bigger pair. But um, somebody in the comments wrote very sweetly, she said, well, what does it matter if you need a bigger pair? No one's going to come up to you and say, have you had to buy a bigger pair? Um, so just do it. So I've got those. They came the other day. I haven't tried them yet, but I will do that hopefully later in this video. And I might have a few bits, other bits to show you by then. So hopefully I'm not rattling on too much. Um, I will catch up with you in a bit. And oh, if I put my glasses on, I could see better, couldn't I? Um, <laughs> yeah, so thank you for watching this bit. And hopefully you'll come back for the next bit. Thank you so much and I'll see you. See you soon. Hello there. Um, we've moved on a few days now. I last spoke to you um, on Saturday and it's now Tuesday. I just wanted to tell you that, um, well I've got some bits to show you, but I wanted to tell you how much we enjoyed the pantomime we went to. I can't recommend it highly enough. It was very funny. It was um, Peter Pan and it was um, at the Auburn Arena in St Albans. Um, and there, I think there were 12 of us went. And it, yeah, it, it was quite inexpensive actually. I think the tickets were about £20 a head for the adults. Don't know about the children. Uh, and um, it was it was the Peter Pan story, but a bit of a twist. It was like the next generation on. So you still had Peter Pan, you had Captain Hook and Tinkerbell and the Lost Boys and Girls. But, you know, there was the, the, the story was slightly different. And you didn't have none of the dog. You had Dave the Dinosaur. Very 21st century, all this stuff, isn't it? Um, and the the celebrity they had in it, they had two celebrities, uh, depending on your definition of celebrities. Um, one was a girl that's a CBeebies presenter, Maddie Moat. She played Tinkerbell, as you might guess. And Captain Hook was played by um, the, the actor that plays, or played, I don't know if he's still in it. I don't watch Coronation Street anymore. Got really, got really fed up with watching all these soaps, so I cut nearly everything out. Um, he played Pete Barlow, so he, you know, he was quite good. And and the dame, the pantomime dame, um, and the, the 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 the, I suppose he was supposed to be, was he Smee? No, he wasn't Smee. I don't know. There was a, another lad that played played a pirate and was kind of the 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 dame's sidekick. I'm explaining this. I don't really think I probably need to, do I? Because, because we all know what pantomimes are. If, by the way, if you're a, G a viewer in somewhere like the US, I know I have some US viewers um, or anywhere else. I think pantomimes are a bit of a thing for, for British people. Um, and, you know, men, men dressed as women, blah, 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 perhaps doesn't compute with, with some people. But, you know, it's basically, it's just fun. And it was good. If you go to, if, if there's any tickets left and you live in the sort of Hertfordshire area and you're trying, you want to get, I think it's up to the end of December. And if you want to take your children or grandchildren or just go on your own, but just because it's suitable for adults as well. I mean, there's a, we under, we all know, don't we, that a lot of the jokes children don't understand, but the adults do. Um, you know, I, as I say, can't, can't uh, comment highly enough on it. Tickets were about 20 quid, as I say. Um, give it a try um so enough about that um by the way I, on that subject of, of going out in theatres and things I often think well, where, where I live because I live sort of in between Watford and St Albans in Hertfordshire um 
that we're quite lucky really we've got various different theatres there's Watford has the Coliseum and the Watford Palace Theatre which also does a pantomime um, you know you've got Hayes and you know that's got the Beck then theatre we, you know it's not very far into London to see these things although of course the prices change with going into London but yeah it's we, we are quite lucky really um, the next thing to mention to you is I've got my friend believe it or not I've got a friend and not the one that decorated the tree with me um, I've got my friend coming over today we're having a catch up before Christmas she's coming down on the train later so that'd be lovely she's somebody I went to school with um, secondary school so I've known her since I was 11 and, and we've got a little cluster of girls that we we all went to some of us started at the same infant junior school and then went into the same secondary school and some just from secondary school so there's five or six of us and we catch up and keep in touch regularly which is lovely um, now we're all getting a bit older it's uh, but then when we when we chat we do zoom meetings zoom calls zoom meetings zoom calls and um, we all chat with each other and it's just like being 16 again when we all left school so yeah it's, it's really nice um, so she's coming down later so I um, do a little sort of buffet lunch type thing bit of a buffet lunch type thing for her um, so I went into Sainsbury's yesterday which is my supermarket of choice because it's the one near me is quite small and it's um, not got loads of other ranges in it it's got a bit of habitat stuff and a t does it have clothing in I think it does when it's Christmas and stuff maybe it has jumpers and things or maybe that's not maybe that's not true but anyway I don't get too distracted with other things and um, I don't like shopping in a supermarket I don't like shopping for you know full stop of any description really which makes me kind of weird I suppose but um, but this one is, is is manageable I don't mind this one so I bought a few of their Christmas uh, packaged range things for us to share today and there will be stuff left over so the rest of my family can have a little dig in. Um, I've got grandchildren coming at the weekend so they might enjoy some of this. First thing I got was 12 pigs in blankets. Um, it's made they're made with British pork. Um, they're suitable for home freezing. Are they suitable for home freezing? Hold on a minute, hold the front page because I haven't got the haven't got the blue star on. I don't think they are. I don't think they are. Not, I don't mean blue star, I mean like a snowflake logo thing. So these probably aren't, but anyway, we're going to start on those today, so that'll be fine. Um, I, I know I should make all this stuff, but I just don't really want to. I've watched lots of videos in the last week of um, some of the people I subscribe to um, showing you how they make their sausage rolls, and, and it, was, it couldn't be easier, they all say. And they make... Um, pizza twist and and I think I take my hat off to them I really do I just cannot be bothered especially at Christmas if I some I mean I can make stuff I'm not completely useless or anything but it's just what whatever sort of floats your boat I suppose and um my family is the sort of family that if I spent three hours in the kitchen bake, making uh this and making that they probably wouldn't enjoy it any more than just getting it out of a packet I don't know I might be doing them a disservice but it's not for me I just go to the shop and buy some 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 stuff I like making but you know um second thing I bought was it's all a bit porky here I just have to warn you um I don't think you can freeze these either oh hang on yes you can there's a little freeze as possible star thing on the back this is the thing isn't it I've made this mistake before with stuff going going into shops and um, into the supermarket to buy stuff you've seen on the TV advertised because we all spend the, 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 the advertising companies spend loads every year don't they on um, the, the big supermarkets the four or five big supermarkets on their um, their Christmas ads and of course you go in the store and unless you've pre-ordered it you, you can't get any of this stuff which is a, a shame really because um, you know, you, some of this your stuff is it's, it's kind of dragging you in, and, and unless, as I say, you've made made an effort to have a Christmas book, a Christmas delivery, and think about what you want six weeks before Christmas, it's just all a bit, 
So anyway, 12 pigs in blankets, which you can freeze. Next thing is nine pork, bacon and cranberry sausage rolls. Don't know what that's going to be like. Outdoor bread, British pork and smoked British dry cured bacon. Um, little sausage rolls with sort of little bits on the top. Um, I like to buy British meat if I can um, for all sorts of reasons. These look really nice um, and suitable, suitable for freezing. Um, if you want to know what I mean by the, the uh, snowflake thing, the blue snowflake, it, most of the stuff has this little, hopefully, oh God, sorry, hopefully you can see that. It says suitable for freezing, but you, hopefully if you can't see it very clearly, you get the idea. We've got some tempura prawns here. Ten crunchy tempura prawns. Um, we've got some 12 halloumi fries. I know what you're thinking. Not a lot of salad going on here, is there? No, there isn't. Um, Christmas, isn't it? We're all going on a diet on the uh, 1st of January, aren't we? Uh, 10 mini chicken kivs. Um, who doesn't like a chicken kiv? I do anyway. Uh, they are with a melting garlic and herb centre and they are suitable suitable for freezing. Um, I did these out for today but I, my daughter, I might mention this before, I usually say the same thing 50 times. My daughter's vegan and although um, I don't really, I don't think I need to buy any food for Christmas for her because we are very luckily going out on Christmas Day to a hotel for a lunch and I think there's about, I don't know, there might be 15 of us, there might be a few more, I can't remember what the head count is now, but it's uh, just down the road, so we're going there for Christmas lunch so we can all relax, I don't have to get all hot and bothered and sweaty in the kitchen and not spend time with people because you know you're sort of forever basing your turkey or whatever um so i'm really looking forward to that but we're coming back here afterwards for some games and some presents and some you know snacks and things later on um so anyway i, I thought i'd get these in because i'm you can oh, she says yeah this has got the the uh, snowflake on so you can freeze the these um i bought some pups in blankets. Oh, <laughs> can you see? Um, they are Plant Pioneers, which is Sainsbury's vegan brand, their own brand. I don't know. They they kind of look. I do actually. I like some vegan stuff because of her. I have tried things over the over the year, or over the years, um, and I do quite like some of it. Um, but we can give those a try, can't we? And the other thing I grabbed was, well, this was a bit stupid, really, because I bought, um, she loves stuffing, sage and onion stuffing, so I bought 12 sage and onion stuffing balls, plant pioneers again, as I say, Sainsbury's own vegan brand. But then I thought, you're a bit of a nitwit, Linda, aren't you? Because the if you buy Paxo sage and onion stuffing, just that packet mix stuff, I'm pretty sure that's vegan. It's certainly vegetarian. Um, but anyway, we'll to hell with the expense we've uh, we've gone with that now 12 of those um and so i can freeze those because the dates quite the date comes up quite soon so they'll be they'll be fine do you know i think this must be the longest video in the world it's it's nearly uh, not far off a week since i actually started it so um the last set so i've got a different top on in case you noticed um i had the first did the first bit on saturday on the panto day and then Tuesday I did a bit of an update on that and showed you a couple of bits of shopping um, I bought from the supermarket, um, which um, you would have seen by now, presumably. And <laughs> and then today is now Thursday. I had to keep stopping, you know, and, and I just didn't get the chance to carry on. So anyway, I think the last bit that I spoke about was uh, my box of crackers. Ta -da! Um, I'm, I hopefully you saw you you've been able to see the food bit all right because um, that's more or less eaten now so we're on a bit of a loser there yet yeah, these um, these six crackers they are Sainsbury's 
um, Habitat branded because they're all part of the same, same group now. Um, I think they were £8. I bought two boxes and I think I was showing you the sort of prizes, the presents in them. Um, you, you know, the, uh, the, the things that they look like they're quite good presents, but really, you know, they're the sort of things that nobody ever uses, but they're just a bit of fun, really, aren't they? Um, okay, the next thing to mention to you is um, when I did the Avon, um, I showed you the Avon products that I bought, just to, um, as I've had them for a few days now. I've been very pleased with them. Um, I would recommend if you fancy trying something a di bit different and Avon doesn't always spring to mind. And by the way, no, you know, <laughs> this is just my opinion, stuff I bought, nothing to do with Avon. It's just my something I tried out on the strength of um, one of my uh, comments that I had. And the I've tried all of the foundations now. Uh, today I've put on the... Um, I think it's called Flawless and it was in like a little compact, a sort of a cream foundation and I find that quite good, it's got good coverage. I'm sticking with the creams, I keep forgetting to put the night cream on but I've tried to ramp up my game on that. Um, the uh, mascara was is okay, um, I, I don't think it sets the world on fire but it's okay, lipstick's nice um, and the crayon pencil um, which is either eyeliner or uh, eyeshadow in the berry colour that's nice as well so yes I was very pleased with those um, and the last bit of this video today is the um, I'm going to show do a quick try on I've a very very small um, haul here of things um, I wanted to catch you up on the much talked about and never seen leather leggings um, I got the bigger size, a 22 don't tell anyone as I've uh, it's a bit embarrassing really isn't it but still um, so I got the 22 I've tried them on they are still quite um, they're not they, they don't just slide up easily but they, they aren't difficult really um, they so they they fit because I was worried they might be a bit baggy around my legs and they're not they're quite long in the leg though and I'm, I've, I've said before I'm five foot seven but I don't have long legs um, but you know they, they I don't think they look too bad um, but I will try them on in a minute so these were the um, Emily jeggings and they are stretch so we're going to try those in a moment um, the other, I've been looking for, to do another haul, fashion haul, because I know people, you, my viewers like, fashion, who doesn't like a fashion haul, let's let's face it, I must use the word fashion, I don't know how fashionable I am, but there you go. Um, and I was still struggling to find someone that I wanted to place an order with, because a lot of stuff is out of stock. Um, because, by the way, because I started this video last week effectively I can't remember what I've already said to you so if I'm repeating myself I do apologize but um, a lot of stuff is out of stock a lot of sizes are out of stock on the websites of my usual brands I've tried to look at brands I don't normally look at and then I think oh I know I don't normally buy anything from you you're not really you're not kind of sitting well with me for whatever reason so what I did and I I, I placed an order for um, a couple of tops with Amazon and I wasn't I felt a bit bad about that because I know this Amazon's a bit controversial but to have to be said I know it's a bit but to, to say it but you know sometimes it it does have stuff and you can get it quite quickly so um, I got these uh, there's two tops here from Amazon I've ordered three the third one apparently is coming after Christmas but I haven't bought these for Christmas it's just because I seem to I've got quite a few things in my wardrobe, but I, I lack tops to just sit around the house in or just to, you know, walk around, take the, take the dogs out or go to the shops or something. Um, there wasn't lots, there lots of things that I liked, but anyway, um, I did buy this top, which is a, I think it was, let me see, I did write it down. She had a bit of foresight here. This is a chick zone, 
Chicks Owns Women's T-shirt and it was $15.99 and what I quite liked about it, because they do seem to have some quite unusual things on there, um, was this sort of, it's not really graduated but you've got three buttons which are just decorative, you have long sleeves and you have a kind of flared top, a flared shape the white goes all the way round. Um, I didn't really hold out a lot of hope for it to be honest, but I've tried it on. It's um, the, the it's that sort of quite cheap fabric that's a bit shiny, but it's quite thick, so it doesn't feel it feels quite comfortable to to wear. I'm just having a search to see if I can see what the fabric is. This is a two XL, which apparently. Is, well it fits me so and I'm a size 20 in case you don't know we've got 95% polyester and 5% spandex and it says water wash I don't know what that means perhaps it means don't dry clean Poor water wash uh, made in China um, oh don't tumble dry never mind um, anyway so I'm going to try that on in a minute this is that. The next thing I bought was a sweatshirt and this is a Smeng, is the brand, crew neck sweat top. It's $29.99 and I got this in an XXL which was a 2022 because the model in the picture was obviously she was thin but she was wearing it quite baggy so I thought well, I know I'm a size 20, but I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I didn't really want to buy a 20, what would it be, 24, 26. Um, because, I mean, sometimes you can wear things that are so big, they just drown you. So, um, I, anyway, I settled for this. I settled for the XXL 2022 size. Um, I quite like this design. I think they did it in different colourways, but I just went for um, the grey and black and sort of I think that's car key in the middle the light's so bad today it's hard to tell so we've got a grey bottom um, little slits at the side and um, a black top now this is not loose on me I have to say it's a bit on the snug side and um, it did show my belly a bit but I figured I will try it on and show you but I figured you know if for the purpose of me what I want it for it's um it'll do it it's fine I know you think 29.99 and it'll do but um sometimes just taking things back is just not really an option well it is and you can do it but can I be bothered because I do like the the sweat top and of course you know in January when we're all losing weight anyway um the other thing I got actually was from Next when I was out shopping the, the other day, um, which is the top I've got on now, which I'm aware you can't see properly. But I had a bit of a similar problem with, oh, similar, well, yeah, problem with that as this as well, because um, I saw they had a 20 and a 22 hanging up in the store. And of course, you know, we were out Christmas shopping and I wasn't really looking for anything for me, but this caught my eye. So I didn't try it on. I just thought, well, I can always take it back. Um, and I tried it on and it was a bit sort of snug around the belly bit. Um, but then I, and so I put it back in the bag and I thought, oh, I'll go into, into town in the week and I'll just either go with the bigger size or just get my money back. But then I was thinking about it and I thought, I wonder what it would look like because I was, I was thinking of wearing it with trousers or leggings um, or jeans. And then I thought, I wonder what it looks like with a skirt. So I've got the old faithful um, denim skirt out of mothballs to try it. And I think actually it look, works quite well as, rather than a, a tunic top, it look, works quite well as a, just a top to wear. I mean, maybe that's what it's meant for, I don't know. So anyway, I will show you that. I've, um, I, think that's, I think that's everything I've got. Um, so we'll go straight to the... Um, the try on and then uh, I'll chat to you at the end okay right this is the next top it was 32.99 I think um, it's 
stretchy fabric. I was looking for something, well I wasn't really looking for anything, but when I find things I, I always hope they've got a V, but this is a round neck as you can see. Um, it, we've got a cuff with no sort of faux buttons or anything on it. The sleeve is um, a little bit you, a little bit see-through, it's thinner than the fabric on the body. Um, a geometric pattern. I don't know why I keep picking up things with geometric patterns because I don't know if when you're big they make you worse or is that big flowers or is it just big anything I don't know but anyway I quite like them it's a little bit of a little bit of a puffy bit going on there so I quite like that and when you wear it with uh, this skirt I mean when, when I when I put it on with the, the the whatever it was the other day trousers or leggings or something um, it kind of emphasized this bit because I was thinking it was going to be more sort of long like this but it's it's more fitted so I think it quite lends itself to be um, with a skirt and you can um, I'm, I'm wearing it with a denim skirt because to be honest I don't think I've got any other skirts I just don't wear them anymore um, yeah so anyway rattling on um, nice and comfortable nice nice and the sleeves are a nice length for me um, the back I will go back I will go back to the door and the hope that you can get a full picture because it just looks like hello like you're miles away so So I think I wrote this top off too quickly and I think I'm going to keep it. So on to the next thing. The next item is um, the faux leather leggings which I got from New Look. These are a size 22 and the um, style is called Emily with two E's on the end, not a Y. Um, I'm really sorry, I don't know how much I paid for them now. It's just seems such a long time ago I ordered them. Um, this is just a top, a yours top that's got a bit of glitz in it so I've just put this on. I'm not entirely sure this is the best top to try them with but anyway it gives you an idea. They are matte leather, matte faux leather um, and they come down to my ankles probably, um, yeah comfortably down to my ankles. Uh, now I will show you the belly section, but it, this bit's awful, but it's comfortable. So you know, got the old love handles and God knows what going on. And we've got a couple of functioning pockets at the back. And I just thought it was a nice, I mean, these things, stars come and go, don't they? These, these fashions, but and I know um, these are a bit of a thing this year, aren't they? These uh, faux leather leggings but um, I thought well they're a bit different aren't they and we'll give them a go so hopefully you can see them all right I know that this isn't the best um, I don't want to show you my top you don't need to see that do you but just to give you an idea anyway um, okay I will now show you the other two tops that were from Amazon so this is the sweat top We've got black leopard print with a, I thought it was khaki, but I think it might just be a dark grey, I don't know, and then a lighter grey. Um, so it, it fits, but it, it's a bit, bit of belly going on, as I said. I think probably it would have been better if the, more flattering for me anyway, if the black was at the bottom and the grey at the top, but hey-ho. Um, so I've just got it on with a pair of normal leggings. These are, I've just got, I bought a two pack of these leggings in Sainsbury's. They were £10 for two, um, which I think, I, I don't know if I've shown you that, but. So, yeah, I mean, not riotously flattering, I don't think, but I think I'll keep it because it's warm. And yeah, what, what more can you want? And so there's just one more top and I'll get out of your hair. 
Okay, this is the last item. This is described as a, a chick sewn t-shirt. It's $15.99. Um, three buttons on the front. Like, as I say, they're just decoration. Um, the sleeves are nice. They're a nice length on me. They're quite long on me, which I don't mind. And then you've got this sort of... Um, I don't know what really how to describe it, but you can see what it's like. It's sort of black going into a slight... It's not really ombre, is it? But black going into graduated grey and into the white. Um, and it's slightly longer at the front and at the back than it is at the sides. And as I say, this was this and the sweat top was from Amazon. So, side view. Um... Difficult to show you black fabric really, isn't it? It's um, shiny, but it feels quite comfortable and it feels, it's not really thick, but it just feels quite substantial, let's say. Okay, I'll turn around. One of the uh, comments I had from somebody was to, she because I'm, I'm always aware that my camera work is really awful and sometimes I use a camera and sometimes I use a phone and um, she said to go back to the door and then she said we can see what you're wearing better but I don't know whether I'm too far away or not because it's really really hard to see until you play all of this back. Anyway, hopefully it's all right. Um, that is it for today. Um, thank you so much for, if you've watched all of this, you deserve a medal. Thank you so much because, as I say, I've, it's taken me several days to, to get it all done. It's surprising how, you know, you get you start doing something on this and then the phone goes or the dog door goes or the dog barks or then you have to go somewhere and it's all kind of threading it all together. But um, anyway, um, I'm going to try and do something again next week. I'm aware that next week is leading up to Christmas and perhaps people will be too busy to, to watch. But if I can get hold of anything that I think you might be interested in, um, I will do. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much if you have subscribed to me and watched my video. So much for watching today. I hope to see you again. I hope you're all well because I know there's lots of stuff going around at the moment. And um, I will see you very soon. So bye bye for now. Thank you.